Hi guys. I wanted to go over with you some of the food and nutrient analysis software and databases as well as some of the operating and enforcement agencies that carry out the law. Um, this is from Domain One, um, talking about technologies, education, communication, that section. So basically, the USDA, as far as being a database, it does have a lot of um, sources of food composition. Uh, and if we remember to the USDA, that's the organization that when we talked about in our um, principles of dietetics, that's inspecting animals when they're slaughtered for, um, and also grading them. So grading and inspecting animals. But the USDA also has a nutrient database for a standard reference that you can go to and look up a lot of different foods. I've actually used this before. I do trust it. It's just not super user friendly, but it is a great resource to kind of go in there. It just takes a little bit of time to find stuff, but there's a lot of other resources out there that you just really kind of question if they're accurate or not. Some resources, people just type it in, kind of like a Wikipedia used to be kind of thing. So the USDA, if you ever want to fact check something, um, that's a good place to go. The Food and Nutrient Database for Dietary Studies, or the FNDDS is the next um, database to look for. And this is basically used by researchers that goes into like the compositions of different foods and products that is, it's also by the USDA, but it's used more in the dietary studies or researchers so that they can get good concrete facts about products. Um, that's kind of how I would explain that one. Um, the FDA has a total diet study database on food, minerals, and chemicals. And the FDA also it ensures the safety of domestic and imported food products. So that is what we need to know about the FDA. Then the Dietary Supplement Database, um, that's also called the National Institute of Health. It has a lot of great resources on that website. And basically what it does, it's pretty cool. So if you have a client or a patient that comes to you asking about supplements and what's in, you know, they didn't bring their little label bottle, you can go to the NIH website. Um, they call it the Dietary Supplement Label Database, actually. And it has all sorts of great information on different supplements and basically just recopies their labels into a database to make it super user friendly and you can find anything and everything about different supplements that are out there. So really great resource, especially if somebody's asking you about supplements, um, you can kind of look and see what's in them and all sorts of stuff about supplements. And that's with our NIH, the National Institute of Health. Uh, regulatory agencies, a few more. So we have the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. They're going to regulate food ads, enforcing in-truth labeling, um, product claims that cross state lines. This, for some reason, makes me think of some of those crazy things in Asia. They're like, oh, take this face mask and you're going to turn into a panda. Um, that's silly. But uh, a lot of claims that you see, especially I see overseas, that is just way out there. Um, but the Federal Trade Commission is basically going to make sure that um, what the label is saying is truthful and um, regulate some of the food ads, too. And then the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, um, that's licensing for radio and TV. This one, uh, I will never forget it because I remember that Eminem song that was like, the FCC won't let me be. Um, so I'll leave you with that little gem. But thanks for listening.